Malacca State is located in Malaysia's southern region. Malacca City, which is the capital of Malacca, is known for its mix of unique, historic buildings and streets. The city is full of art and culture, and the Malacca River was used for the purpose of international trade. Jonker Street, which is lively during the day, but more so during night, when it turns into a street market full of vendors selling everything from antique items to delicious food. One reason I came to Malacca was not only to see the beautiful architecture, but also to experience the delicious food here. A very popular dish to this region is Assam Padaz, but first, let's go and explore this beautiful city. Welcome, we are in the beautiful city of Malacca. We finally made it after being here two months in Malaysia, and this seems to be a really beautiful city already. And we're gonna first stop at this place that sells this amazing chendol, which I'm really excited to try because I did have a few in the past and they were they were really good, but I hear that Malika has really delicious chendol. I ended up getting the mango chendol. They were out of the pulu, which I think was the sticky rice. He told me that they don't have sticky rice on the menu, but um, I just got this one and it looks amazing. It actually looks like the best chendol that I've had so far. <laughs> It's all pretty put together and it's very thick compared to the ones that I've had like an Eco and uh, Penang, so. Mm. And they put like the ice cream on top of it. Mm. Oh, the mango makes it really nice. It would have been better if it had the sticky rice in it though. Because it would have been like having mango sticky rice with ice and chendo and beans and um, I forgot what these green things, I guess they're like the pandan. I forgot what they're called. But having that all together, oh my goodness. Mmm. Yeah, this is good. I think this is probably the best one that I've had so far. Yeah, so it's just shaved ice with ice cream on it. I mean, I like this version, but I do also like the other versions as well. This one's a little bit sweeter probably because of the added ice cream and then I have the fruit on it as well. The other one's like very like watery and soupy. So, but I like it, it's good. Okay, baby, we better get in this before it melts. So I'm just taking a walk around the river over here and it's a really pretty city i like it so much it has like nice chill vibes it's not as busy right now <laughs> but i know this place could get very very busy i can't wait to get the food though there's something i want to try later on which i'm really excited but they're not open just yet so um, i'm really excited to try asam padas if that's how you see it <laughs> and um um, we'll, we'll go eat that later on. So we just went past the place where we were supposed to get the Assam Padas, but it was still closed. So I ended up stopping at this Indian Pakistani restaurant and I just ordered some chicken tandoori and some garlic cheese naan. So we'll eat this, we'll grab a small bite here, and then hopefully by the time we're done here, we can head over there and go get some uh, Assam Padas. It looks good, it smells delicious. It tastes really good it's like super juicy too it's not like sometimes when i get like tandoori chicken it's a little bit on the drier side but this one's like cooked perfectly it's nice and juicy it has like that smoky flavor to it i'm gonna try it with the green sauce and the onions mm. it has a nice spice to it too which of course i like I like a lot. <laughs> mm. um, let's get into this cheese naan. So this is just like the garlic cheese naan. And they put, I guess we ordered it with like double cheese. It's probably still really hot. So, but we're gonna try a piece anyway. Sometimes when I get the, the cheese naan, I don't really like it, but we'll try this and see. I think the best cheese naan that I've ever had, though, was probably in Penang at this other restaurant, but it 
it's good. It's not as bad. I mean, it's not as good as the one I had, but it is good. It's like buttery. You can taste the garlic. There is a lot of cheese in this, though. <laughs> and I dip it in a green sauce. I'm going to dip it in the, um, I don't know what kind of sauce this is. Because that's the sauce that they serve with it. it was or like some sauce from like butter chicken i love ordering this with some butter chicken because like the sauce from the butter chicken is really good i don't know if i'm a huge fan of the dal sauce dipping it into there but it's something different so i'd rather eat it by itself all right i did it i ordered some butter chicken and a mango lassi so <laughs> i couldn't resist because i don't like the sauce on the side so I need to have it with the butter chicken so hopefully the butter chicken is really good the way I like it no 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 the butter chicken tastes like tomato sauce I don't like it good morning everyone we're back at it today day two well actually day one should I say day one because yesterday we got here around like three so that didn't count for a full day but today is a full day we're gonna go out unfortunately the place that we were supposed to go to yesterday to get Assam Padas was closed so um, we'll try to find a place later on but right now we're gonna go head over and get some chicken rice balls for breakfast and I'm trying to beat the heat it is a nice and cloudy morning right now so hopefully <laughs> we can get some things done before it starts to become like a scorching hot day again so I'm standing right now near the Kota Famosa, which is the Famosa fort here in uh, Malacca, which is somewhere up there. We're going to go walk up the stairs and go check it out later on. Um, we're just going to go head over to the place and go eat, have our breakfast, have some coffee and, well, maybe not coffee, but have something, <laughs> maybe some tea. We'll find out. So he gave us like some soup to try here. He said it's the best. <laughs> mm. This actually is really good. It is so flavorful. No, I have the chicken balls here, the chicken rice balls, and I thought that it was actually filled with like pieces of chicken and then rice, and you squish it all together, and then you make it into a ball and you eat it like that. But it's completely opposite of what I thought it would be. But let's try it and see what it tastes like. Mm. So it's more so like the rice was cooked in like um like chicken stock and then formed into a ball. And then I got like the chicken thigh on the side. So it's just rice ball with chicken on the side instead. Mm. But the chicken I don't know if it's, it might be like um like tamarind sauce or something but it's very delicious i got the thigh i think he has the breast ali ali has the breast <laughs> he's crazy and there's like a side of some sort of spicy sauce Add more of the spicy sauce on top of it. <laughs> and then just kind of like get everything together. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright, some people like some people like to dip this stuff into the sauce. I kind of put it on everything. You just eat it. But this is so good. I think like there's something about the glutinous rice that I really really like a lot. It's like that texture. I love the texture of it. Oh, chicken is so good. And then it could come with like two types. You can have like the boiled chicken or the roasted chicken. I ended up getting the roasted chicken instead. So that meal was 15 ringgit. 
I think now I'm gonna digest a little bit because after drinking all the Chinese tea and drinking the soup on the side, it made me a little bit full. So if you haven't already done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button because you never know when I'll be in your city, your state, or your country eating up all your delicious food. So make sure you guys subscribe. Yeah, so we're gonna go head up the stairs and go check up the fort up top. I'm not a big fan of stairs and we have some stairs to climb. Okay, maybe there's not that many stairs, but I'm still tired already. <sighs> but we're almost there, I think. Gosh, all this rice I've been eating here. I'm out of shape. Um, the view is amazing up here though too. You can see the city part of the city it's really pretty but this is like the uh the, i guess the instagram little spot people come over here and take photos and get a nice view there's also vendors here so they're selling some like antique items and hats and things like that so we're here i have asamparas here i also have some rice and some size some cabbage salted egg and some sort of sauce over here which i'm not sure what it is um we only got one to share. I don't want to stuff myself today. I guess I'm gonna take some of the fish. What did we get? Oh, we got mackerel. Yeah, we got mackerel. So we'll take some of the rice to the side. Put some of this on top. Now, some people said this is really spicy. We'll judge. I normally eat fish with my hands because of the bone so all right here it goes the piece that i just ate i'm not a fan of that i don't like the texture of it so maybe maybe we'll try it down here <laughs> That's better. Now this is a little spicy, but it's not as spicy as like, I was reading the reviews for this place and then people were just saying like, the food is very spicy, but it's not that bad. It's, it's, it's something that I could tolerate. I do have a limit though when I eat spicy food, but I haven't like reached my limit yet so far. So mm. now that's like, salty with the egg is perfect it's good but i can't say that it's at the top of my list of my favorite dishes here but it is really good i like it see all this oil on top of this and you can see some chilies in there some chili seeds in there i had to taste the sauce by itself it has like a sour it's a bit sour and it's like kind of tastes like ginger um, there's some okra in here as well there's like another taste that I can't put my finger on I'm not sure okay so I'm gonna add some more of the spicy liquid I call I call any spicy sauce like liquid gold <laughs> because that's what it tastes like and then I'm like picking away at this fish but I should have ordered the the snapper instead instead of the mackerel but the more I eat it, the more I get used to like the sour taste to it. It's different. It's good. I like it. So I actually found out about Assam Paras when I was in Camping Baru, um, Kuala Lumpur neighborhood. And I went to the Nasi Lamak restaurant. And the lady, she had told me that if I'm coming to Malacca, I have to try Assam Paras. So that's the main reason why I came here to try it. And um, like I said, it's pretty good. It is sour. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the fish head. I think I ate a part that I did not really like too much. But overall, I mean, it's good. The, um, the stuff that they cook it in the soup is very sour. It's a little salty. It tastes like ginger. Um, you have the balance. You have the salted egg. You have like some spicy sauce on the side of it. So I mean, once you mix everything together, it tastes really, really good. So um, you know, that's a plus. And then they actually give you like these little, like it's a bucket. 
I don't even know what's inside of it. I think maybe some sort of meat or I'm assuming like some sort of um, like a rice, glutinous rice or something like that. Um, maybe, I don't know. Do you want to try one? We'll try one. We'll probably try one and see. So as I was recording saying that it was spicy, I think the guy probably thought that I was saying that it's too spicy and he ended up bringing us some, um, some Lipton, some Lipton drinks. And we already had like a side of drinks already. So maybe he thought it was too spicy for us. Um, but I should tell him like, I really, really love spicy. So this is good. But that was really nice, you know? It was really nice for him to bring us some extra drinks. <laughs> All right, so this is what he brought us and the banana leaves. So we're gonna find out like what's inside of this. Let's see. I don't know. What is this? It's just paste. Was I supposed to eat this with the with the fish? I I, I have no clue. It, to me, it looks like dried paste. But I have no clue what this is. Or is it some sort of meat? I think we're supposed to eat this with a fish. I don't know. Yeah, I, don't, I have no idea what this is. Try it. It's like some sort of meat thing. What does it taste like? Um, I like some sort of meat. It tastes like some sort of meat. I don't know, so Ali tasted this and he doesn't even know what this is either, so... I mean, it has like a spice to it and... We just can't cut our finger on what it is. But it's definitely some sort of meat. And if you guys tell me that it's not meat, I would be very surprised because this definitely tastes like meat. But, it's pretty good. I think we're gonna have to find out what this is. So this is my first time having a Sampadas and this one's actually in the clay pot. I think some of them are not in clay pot from what I was reading. I'm not sure, but the one we had was in the clay pot and it was good. I would love to try it somewhere else just to see the differences in the taste. Um, the sourness was good. It caught me off guard a little bit, but it was good. Like I felt like the more I ate it, the better the taste got. So I just found out that what I ate was Ota Ota, she said. And it's actually like fish paste which is cooked with like spices and you can eat it either by itself or with the rice so we ended up eating it by ourselves because we didn't know any better but I mean it wasn't too bad but I think next time yeah we'll try it with the rice or something like that but I did see I saw it before I thought but I didn't know that's what the name of it was so at least now I know yes thank you I came here for the coconut shake initially they used to sell durian coffee which i really wanted to try because i found that to be very interesting and i think you all know how much i love durian so um i really wanted to try it, but unfortunately they no longer sell it so that's okay i got a coconut shake instead oh oh this is my kind of coconut shake it's perfect it's so refreshing it's so natural. It doesn't have sugar. It doesn't seem like it has any sugar in it, which is perfect. That's the way I like my coconut shakes. So, then you gotta taste this. Mm. So refreshing. I really enjoy that. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> And another thing that Malika is famous for is the night market. So we're here at the Jonka Street Night Market. So the Jonka Night Market is only open on the weekends. So when you come here, make sure to check it out then. There's plenty of street food and many restaurants to try. And they also sell some arts and craft items as well. But we were looking for something light, sweet, and simple. So I stopped at this place and I ended up getting like this pancake looking thing. I don't know if it's like an egg. I think she put like egg inside of it. And then you can get it with like honey chicken, octopus, sausage, and something else. So I think this is the honey chicken one. I hope it's not octopus. Okay. Yeah. That's like a pancake thing with egg inside of it. This is the honey chicken one, which is pretty good. Mm. 
very typical of me to get pancakes. <laughs> and then this one has like a sausage inside of it with a So messy. I guess that's why you're supposed to eat it with your hands, right? And then I got a durian pastry. And it's supposed to be like a one bite durian pastry. So we're gonna try to eat it all in one bite. This is pretty big for one bite though. It's interesting. There's another one that's actually bigger than this, but hopefully, hopefully I can fit this all in my mouth at one time. That was a lot of cream in there. But it was good. That was a lot though <laughs> in my mouth at once. And then I picked up like these sweets here. So this is probably like pandan and then I don't know what's inside of this one. So it has like coconut flakes on it and then it's like this little squishy <laughs> ball there. Oh, this is like um, that um, gula, that syrup. What is it called? Is it just gula? Just like gula sugar, like sugar inside of this. Mm, that's delicious. Mm. This would go really good with coffee. I'm trying to have coffee right now though. So if you guys haven't done so, make sure you subscribe because you don't want to miss where we're going next. We're going to be exploring another state here in Malaysia tomorrow morning, so make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you can guess where we're going next, comment below. Until then, I'll see you next time. Bye.